day. It's happening! just started delivering my happy hearts to all my friends. It helps if you sing the song while you work. That's a pro tip. We're almost done delivering our happy hearts. The only person left on our list is Glummy Gluma. I'm sorry, but Glummy Gluma never, ever, ever shows up on Happy Hearts Day. Why not? I thought attendance was mandatory. It's so much fun when everyone's together. It certainly is. But Glummy likes to be gloomy by himself in Soggy Bottom Swamp. That's just how he likes it. That's so sad. Nobody should be alone and gloomy on Happy Hearts Day. Happy Hearts Day, Your Highness. Hello, Farmer Mosser. And a Happy Hearts Day to you. Oh, Blue Bother. I almost forgot. Wait a minute, Farmer Mosser. I have a little something to share with you. You know what, Bee? What? We should go see Glummy Gluma and bring him a happy heart. I don't know if Happy Hearts Day is really Glummy's thing, True. He seems more like a mopey, mumble month kind of guy. This Happy Hearts Day, we're gonna help Glummy be the happiest he can be. Right, um, yeah, the happiest he can be. Come on! The happiest he can be. Glummy! Glummy Gluma! Glummy? Okay. I've heard that Glummy lives in a hollowed out tree, so let's stay sharp and be on the lookout. Uh, look out! Something sharp! <gasps> it's Glummy Gluma! Glummy! Glummy Gluma! Glummy! It's true! Remember me? He must be getting snacks ready for us. Happy Heart Day, Glummy! Uh, no thanks. He seems sadder than usual. I'm not sad. I just want to be by myself. But, Glummy, it's Happy Hearts Day. The happiest day of the year! And I came all the way here to give you your very own happy heart. Oh, joy. Okay, I guess you won't leave till I come out. Nope! nope. You know, happy's not really my thing. Huh? Happy is everyone's thing. See? Now you try. Uh, what do I do with it? No, 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 no! You don't eat it, you... Huh? <gasps> Your happy heart looks kind of... Blue! Oh, um... I broke it, didn't I? I'm sorry. Maybe try giving it a hug and think happy thoughts. I don't know what that is. Happy thoughts are things that make you feel good. Go ahead, think of your favorite things, like balloons. Busy boof crackers. Or baby rock critters. Mm. You never know unless you try. Fine. happen, does it? I've never seen that happen. It's like it's turned into an unhappy heart. You did think of your favorite things, didn't you? Oh, rain clouds, melted ice cream, oh, no one in my swamp. 
My very favorite things. I've got a funny feeling about that blue heart. Let's keep an eye on it, B. Just in case. Just in case. Cumula! <laughs> The one with the super sad face like this. Oh. Things could start to get frowny, so we need to follow it. We'll be right back, Glummy. Go, go, Cumula! Frowny? Me likey. Here we go, Cloud. <sighs> go. Oh, there it goes! It's heading toward the wishing tree. Don't worry, True. Maybe the happy heart will turn the unhappy heart pink and happy again. <laughs> or not. Oh, no. Now all the happy pink hearts have turned blue and gloomy. Come on, Cumulo. Follow that blue heart before it turns everybody gloomy. Oh, look. Everything's coming up blue. Whoopee. Oh, why aren't you just the tastiest looking little numbleberry? Perfect for making jam. <sighs> but I don't like jam anymore. It's too yummy. Oh, true. Me? Gloomy? Well, ain't that something? Ah! It's the blue heart! It was on Farmer Mosser. That blue heart must be what made him gloomy. Shades of Cerulean? Where did all these blue hearts come from? Is this a happy heart? Well, kinda. It looks like a happy heart, but a little different. Yeah, well, the main difference is, I guess that it's blue, and also, if it touches you, it doesn't make you happy. It makes you gloomy. Oh, dear. Just like Glummy Gloomer. You rang. <laughs> glummy Gloomer? You left Soggy Bottom Swamp on Happy Hearts Day? Perplexing <laughs> pink. I, I'm perplexed. Watch out. Rainbow King! Told ya. Oh, when did it get so sunny? First Farmer Mosser, and now Rainbow King. Soon everyone's going to turn gloomy. So how do we fix Happy Hearts Day now? Wait, I have an idea. Happy Hearts to the rescue! Mopey Move. Looked at this cheery mess. Okay, that did not work. We need wish help. Come on, Bartleby. Look out, Cumulo! Don't touch those blue hearts or you'll become Gloomulo! Had a girl, Cumulo. That was some top-notch flying. Z! True! Bartleby! Happy Hearts Day! Aw, thank you. We've got an emergency! We need to save Happy Hearts Day. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? I wanted everyone to feel happy, so I gave a happy heart to Gloomy Gloomy. And then he thought gloomy thoughts instead of happy thoughts! And then the pink happy heart turned blue! And then Farmer Maso and Rainbow King got gloomy! If we don't do something fast, everyone will be gloomy, and instead of the happiest day of the year, it'll be the gloomiest day ever! <laughs> Active asteroids! That is an emergency! Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first I need a way to stop the blue hearts from making more people gloomy. Then, I need a way to change anyone who's already gloomy back to being themselves again. Wishing Tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. 
ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Look at the <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, wonderful. Oh. Wishing tree, please share with me. Snapple. Magic power for you and me. Cypher! <laughs> 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 True, these wishes are absolutely incredible. Let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Goopy. An amazing bubble dome wish that can keep anything contained. Can it contain my excitement? Aww. Oh. <laughs> Goopy. You can stop the Blue Hearts from leaving the Wishing Tree so they don't touch anyone else. <laughs> Introducing Slurpo! <laughs> I love this wish! Slurpo! Slurpo's a vacuum wish that can gather anything up with super strong force. Slurpo! 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 Wow! Slurpo? I'll bet you can slurp up all the blue hearts that have already left the wishing tree. And finally, we have Sizer, a size wish. It can make anything teeny tiny or super big. Hi, Sizer. Great to see you again. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how you'll help us make everyone ungloomy, but I'm sure we'll find a way. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my path. Good luck, True. See ya, Bartleby. Bye, Z. Thank you, Wishing Tree. We're sorry you're feeling a little blue. Hmm. Okay, B. We need to keep these unhappy hearts here. Time for my first wish. Zip zap you, I choose you. Wake up, Goofy. Wish come true. Hi, Goofy. I know you can bubble over anything. We need you to wrap yourself around the entire wishing tree. Ready? It's Goofy time! Whoa! Nice! Good job, Goofy. You keep all these blue hearts here? We'll go figure out how to ungloom everyone. Uh, true. We missed some blue hearts and they're heading to the city. We've got to stop them. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Slurpo. Wish come true. Hi, Slurpo. Slurpo. Hope you're hungry, because we've got to slurp up all those hearts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Let's clean up this town. Slurp. 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 There's one more! Whoa! Slurpo, thanks for your help. Your excuse, Slurpo. Back in my pack. Now we just have to ungloom the wishing tree and anyone else who's been gloomified. But how do we do that? Well, the wishing tree got gloomy after a blue heart landed on it. And the first heart turned blue when Glummy Gloomy touched it. I think Glummy's the only person who can help us now. Let's go back to Soggy Bottom Swamp. Glummy's tree was just up ahead. Wait a minute. Hey, is that who I think it is? Oh. Rainbow King. A groggy, foggy day to you, True. Hey. This is my alone zone. 
Bartleby, everyone's been gloomified by the unhappy hearts. And they're all here in the soggy bottom swamp. Ooh. Oh, the best part of being the only person who didn't like Happy Hearts Day was being by myself. This is terrible, which is something I usually enjoy. Now even terrible is ruined for me. Guami, wait! Ugh, Happy Hearts Day is ruined. It's supposed to be the happiest day of the year. And we're supposed to share happy thoughts and make everyone happy. Maybe not everyone wants to be happy. Why wouldn't you want to be happy? Because I like being glum. That's it! What's it? Mommy, is it okay if I come join you? I suppose. Thank you, Glummy. <sighs> wow. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? You're right, Glummy. This is beautiful. Glummy, if you had your own special day, what would you want? Well, it wouldn't be sunny. I don't like the sun. It hurts my eyes. So, it would be foggy instead. Yeah, that would be better. I do like the fog. It's so mysterious. I don't like mysterious fog. Okay, non-mysterious fog. What else? Hmm. No chirpy birds. Yeah, they hurt my ears. Sometimes I feel like that too. Especially when I just want to sleep in. Exactly. I think I get it now. Your special day would just be... different. Are you calling me different? That's the best compliment I've had all day. We can call it glum chums who like to be alone by themselves to walla wall day day. How about Glum Chums Day for short? That sounds great. Mm. Blue, my favorite color. I can see why you like it, Glummy. It's beautiful. And for me, so is pink. I love it because it makes me feel so happy. And you like blue because it makes you feel so gloomy. Glummy, I've got an idea. Let's try something. Well, okay, just because it's you, True. True, what are you doing? Ah, uh, what's happening? Whoa! Whoa! Hmm? What? Um, what just happened? I have no idea. Whoa! Purple. Not bad. This is actually kind of fun! Finally, we agree on something. This purple rain is the best! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you laugh like that. It's so cute. Purple rain is... Okay, I guess. It doesn't make me unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Yay! <laughs> Precipitous purple! How delightful to see you all here! Rainbow King, isn't this purple rain amazing? It certainly is! <gasps> I almost forgot! The wishing tree! <laughs> it's still covered with blue hearts! We need to get this purple rain over to the wishing tree. Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. Do you think you might be able to push this purple rain cloud out of Soggy Bottom Swamp and into the Rainbow Kingdom? <laughs> Thanks for everything, Glummy! Bye! See you, Glummy! Bye-bye! So long. What? Oh, 
the purple rain is turning the glummy blue hearts back to happy pink hearts. But it's not big enough to cover all the blue hearts and all the blue citizens, too. I've got an idea that can help get all the blue hearts pink again. It's time for my third wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Sizer! Wish come true! Hi, Sizer! <laughs> Ready to make that purple rain cloud super duper big? Go, Sizer! for saving the day and making it extra special. But the day wouldn't have needed saving if I'd just let Glummy Gluma be himself. That's okay, True. Now we know for the next Happy Hearts Day. You're right. It's okay that Glummy is alone in his swamp. As long as he feels what he wants to feel. Thanks, Glummy. And happy Glum Chums Day. I'm soaking wet. I can't see a thing in this fog. And I'm all alone in my soggy swamp. Oh, perfect. Red Riding Mila. Okay, little helpers, it's snack time. There's one for you, and you, and you. And you! Hey, you're not a little helper. What gave it away? My big smile? My big handsome eyes? You can't hide what you are, Bartleby. Even the Big Bad Wolf couldn't do it. Like the Big Bad Wolf in the Little Red Riding Hood story? Exactly like that. Only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap subble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there was a little girl skipping through the woods when she came upon a big, bad wolf. <laughs> oh, no. It's a big, bad wolf. Um, that's not a wolf. That's my fruity. Oh, what's with the basket, Red Riding Mila? Oh, the king has the sniffles, and I'm bringing in my top secret sniffle solver. Bye. Hmm. If I could get that sniffle solver, I could be the one to cure the king. I'd be a hero. Red Riding Mila, wait! He shouted, my lady. Griselda told Red Riding Mila about a shortcut to the king's cottage. But it was really a long cut. Griselda got there first with the plan to trick Mila and the king, who did have a bad case of sniffles. Oh, my achy bulbs. My nose is all stuffed up. Knock, knock. I heard you were sick. Oh, my. Are you in bed? Oh, no, 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 no. You need to be tucked in somewhere snug and cozy. Like a... Drawer. A drawer? Oh, yes, drawer therapy. It's a well-known cure for the sniffles. I've never heard of it. But uh, I'll try anything to get rid of these. <laughs> there you go. All snug and cozy. Now don't come out till I say so. Who's ringing the doorbell? Poor dear. Now you're hearing things. We better close you up quick. Now for the fun part. Makeover. Perfect. Now you look just like the king. I am so good at this. Coming! Remember, we need Mila to think you're the king so she'll give you, slash me, her famous sniffle solver. So act royal. You're a king. 
not a dog. <laughs> Hi, you made it. How did you get here so fast? I, um, got so worried about the king that I took an even shorter shortcut. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's have a look at our little patient. How are you doing, your highness? Ah! Hmm, that doesn't sound like the king I know. It doesn't? No, that sounds like a king who's very, very sick. You don't look so good either. What big puppy dog eyes you have. Uh, all the better to see with. And what a sticky outy tongue you have. All the better to lick you with. And what a shiny collar you have. Shiny collar? All the better to... Ugh, I got nothing. Between you and me, the king does not look good. Uh, yeah, because he's sick. Quick, give me that secret sniffle solver of yours. <coughs> Your Highness, down! <coughs> hey, that's not the king. That's the big, bad, little, slobbery wolf. No, it's the king, really! Listen to that royal bark! <coughs> and look at that royal tail! And... <coughs> oh, what's the use? I'm sorry, Mila. I wanted to be the one to make the king feel better. So I tried to trick you into giving me your sniffle solver. Is that all? Why didn't you just ask me? We can both give it to him. Really? So, where's the real king? Oops, nearly forgot! He's in here. Drawer therapy. Mm-hmm. Smart. Waggy, waggy, your majesty! Morning glories! <laughs> Is drawer therapy over already? Do I still have the sniff? <laughs> Not for long, because Mila and I, <laughs> and Fruki, have a sniffle solver that will knock your cape off. Introducing... <laughs> an egg? Of course. What were you expecting? I don't know. Soup? Vitamins? A magic potion? How can an egg get rid of a stuffed up nose? Watch. Ew! This was all Mila's idea. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Navy nasal passages. I can breathe. Works every time. And they all lived sniffle-free ever after. The end. You know what else baby stinkos can clear besides stuffed up noses? No. What? Rooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just funny there, wasn't I? The Fishy Poof Touch. Okay, I got the story time snacks. Ooh, for <gasps> me? Thank you, Bartleby. Actually, I didn't know you liked fishy poof crackers. Or I would have brought a bigger bowl. I love my fishy poof crackers. I can never get enough of them. That's what King BB thought when he got the fishy poof touch. Is that like the story of King Midas in the golden touch? It's exactly like that story, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there was a great king named Bibi who loved fishy poof crackers. Yum, yum, yum. I do love my fishy poof crackers. Ahem, King Bibi, everyone's waiting to see my art. Oh, right. <clears throat> okay. Citizens, today we reveal an amazing sparkly statue made at my request by the royal artist who's also my best friend, True, <laughs> to honor the great Fairy Griselda! I look gorgeous in marble. Very lifelike, True. Just wait till we turn the fountain on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi, look out, everybody! Get back! Get back! Oh, that was close. We almost got wet. The king hates getting wet. Weird. 
Anyway, I love my statue, so I want to do something nice for you and grant you a wish. What does your heart desire? Huh. Yeah, right now I desire more fishy poof crackers. Really? Are you sure you don't want a bigger palace or the power to turn everything you touch into gold? Nah. But how about the power to turn everything I touch into fishy poofs? You want the fishy poof touch? Yes! Please make my paws magic! As you wish. Did it work? I mean, shouldn't they sparkle now or something? You wished for the fishy poof touch, not glitter paws. Just try it. Oh no. Huh? Wow! It works! Thanks! You're the greatest fairy ever! I know. Have fun, King Bibi. Thanks for the statue. Bye, Fairy Griselda! Ha <laughs> ha! Now time to make more fishy poof crackers! Hmm. Why are your smiles upside down? You bit my hat! You ate the last chapter of my book! King Bibi, I know you love turning things into fishy poofs, but the people want their stuff mm -hmm. back. But I have the fishy poof touch! This is the greatest day ever! No, don't! My fishy poof touch turned my best friend into a fishy poof cracker! I have to undo this. How do I undo this? With my back paws? Cross paw reverse? Wish delete? There's gotta be a way to reverse this! Oh, I know! Fairy Griselda! Help! Oh, look at that. You have another statue. Nice! It's not a statue. I turned the real true into a cracker. Please, fairy, change my friend back into a girl. I might be the great Fairy Griselda, but even I can't do that. Why not? Only you have the power to turn true back, King Bibi. But it means giving up your fishy poof touch forever. But I like having the fishy poof touch. But I like having my friend more. Okay, do it. Remove the fishy poof touch from my paws. No, that's not the way it works. You have to wash it off. Sure, that sounds easy. Uh, not like that, King Bibi. By bathing in water. Oh, no. I can be anything but that. Sue yourself. Enjoy your cracker, friend. It's okay, True. We can make this work. Hug? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'd much rather have my huggable best friend back than an endless supply of crispy, crunchy, mouth-wateringly delicious fishy poof crackers. <gasps> Cannonball! My book's a book again! My house is a house again! Hey! Who ate my doorknob? I'm... I'm me again! Hooray! I did it! I changed you back! Did you see how brave I was, True? Jumping into the water and everything, did you see that? I sure did, B. Hug? But... but what if... Only one way to find out! <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Mm, I love you, True. I'm so glad you're not a cracker. The king should have wished for glitter paws. See? So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Three little yetis. Come on, Bee! Let's get this party started! Oh, a 
imagine how great we'll be when there's real music to dance to. Yeah, I can't wait for Bingo Bango to get here. He's gonna blow the roof off this place tonight. He totally did that in the story of Bingo Bango and the Three Little Yetis. Is that like the Big Bad Wolf and the Three Little Pigs? Because I love that story! It's exactly like that story, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip zap zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, there were three little yetis who wanted to have a dance party. So they built a party playhouse out of leaves. <laughs> when it was all done, out of the woods came... Oh, I know! A, a big bad wolf! Really big and hairy with big, scary teeth. Not exactly. Wait, wait, wait what, what was it then? <laughs> Hi, guys. Dance, dance, party. Party. dance party! Dance party! You want a dance party in your playhouse? Then I'm your DJ. Yay! And I'll bump, and I'll bump, and I'll blow the roof off. Uh huh? That means I'll play really great. Bingo Bango thumped and he bumped until. <laughs> I. I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean I would really blow the roof off. I. I. I better go. <laughs> so, the three little Yetis tried again and built a stronger playhouse made of big sticks. <laughs> Yeah! Hi, little yetis. I brought you some Nummelberry cookies because I broke your playhouse. Oh, you built another one. Well, I'll just be going then. Dance party! No, no, I can't play. If I do, I'll thump and I'll bump and I'll blow the roof off. By accident. Please? Okay, okay, for you guys, I'll play. I'll thump and I'll bump and I'll blow the roof off. But not really. Yeah! Bingo Bango thumped, and he bumped, and then... Yeah! Oh, no! I blew the roof off again! Oh, I'm terrible! Bingo Bango was sorry he wrecked the Yeti's second playhouse, but they were ready to try again. Again! Again! Finally, the three little Yetis built a third playhouse. This time, out of a giant mushroom. Yeah! When it was done, they called out for their friend, Bingo Bango. Hey! Bingo! Bango! Just a plain old bush. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I can't play. Ta -da! Oh, you guys really love building. Dance party! Dance party! Dance party! Dance party. Dance party. Please? Okay, okay. For you, I'll play and I'll blow the roof off! Yeah! <laughs> huh? Party, party. Dance party. Okay, okay. I'll play. Yeah! Bingo Bangle thumped. Bumped, and this time, the roof stayed on! The end. Is that him, too? Is that the Bingo Bango? 
Hi, True. Hi, Bartleby. <gasps> dance party! Dance party! Please! Okay, okay. For you guys, I'll play. I'm gonna thump! And bump! And blow the roof off! Whoa, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Bingo Bango playing so loud that a whole house shakes and the roof comes off. <laughs> As if that could ever happen. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Griselda locks in the three yetis. Everybody ready for story time? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one second. I have to get comfortable here. Could you just, um... Uh, slide over. It almost. It, it, oh, ah, there we go. Okay, everything's just right. Whoa! <laughs> Thought you no, this, um, oh. Now everything's too drooly. <laughs> Sounds like everything's just right for our story. Griselda Locks and the Three Yetis. Is that like Goldilocks and the Three Bears? It's exactly like that, only different. Story spinner, story spinner, zip, zap, zubble. Time to tell a magic tale inside your story bubble. Once upon a time, a papa, a mama, and a little yeti sat down to enjoy some yummy nummelberry porridge. <laughs> but it was too hot. So the yetis decided to take a pleasant walk in the forest while the porridge cooled off. Didn't you mean a swing through the forest? <laughs> Just then, Griselda Locks came by. <laughs> oh, Fruki, what a glorious day for a walk in the forest. Something smells yummy. Are you hungry, Fruki Wookie? Maybe the people who live in this, um, house will give us something to eat. Let's be charming. Surprise visit from a princess. It's me, Griselda Locks. Hello, anyone home? Well, whoever lives here is going to be very disappointed they missed a surprise visit from a princess. <coughs> You're right, Fruki. We should wait for them to come back. It's the least we can do. Ow! This chair is too hard. What about this one? Whoa! It's too soft. Maybe this one? It's pretty good. It's a little plain. Needs more, um, oh, sparkles. What's that, Fergie? Did you say Nemmelberry porridge? <laughs> How thoughtful of them to leave some out in case we stop by. Blah! Uh, uh, too hot! <gasps> Blah! Uh, yeah, too cold. <gasps> mm, not bad but it needs to be more rainbowlicious. Hmm, Fergie Boo, I'm starting to see a pattern here. A plain old boring pattern. Fergie? Exactly, Fergie, we should redecorate. We'll give them Griselda Lux Glamorous Home Makeover. Eee! That's it, Grismos. Bring in my signature Razzle Dazzle. Change that painting. More is better. Sparkles! More sparkles! Oh, yeah. Good work, Grismos. Now it's just right. Fruki, isn't this perfection? Good idea, Fruki Kins. A nap is just what we deserve after all this hard work. Grismos dismissed. This is the perfect napping spot. We did such a good job. <sighs> They're going to be so happy. When the Yetis got back, they were surprised to see that somebody had wandered into their home. Hey! Papa's chair was covered in sparkles. <laughs> Papa does not like sparkles. And Mama's porridge had rainbow sprinkles. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's bad. 
Little Yeti could hear someone sleeping in his bedroom. Gasp! Whoa! Um, hi! I'm Princess Griselda Locks. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me. Uh-uh. Uh well, anyway, I jazzed up your place a little bit. And, uh, you're welcome? Everything was just right. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up. They loved it. I did not see that coming. Yep. Yetis like things yeti-ish and sparkly. Who doesn't love sparkles? <laughs> Ray! <gasps> mm. ah! Huh? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Everything was just right. Great story, True. Not too long, not too short, and the amount of princess in it was just right. Don't you think, Fruki Kins? The story's over. I finally got comfortable. <laughs> Everything is just right. <laughs> oh, oh, Bartleby. Bartleby. You got another story in there, right? <laughs> what? <laughs>
super duper dance party. <laughs> Now. 
Lummy's gloom. So very, very glum. And so gloomy and humdrum. Ugh, why won't people let me be? I say happy's overrated. And it just makes me irritated. I just want to be glum. So let me be. It just makes me irritated. I just want to be glum.
Nighttime. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. The soft cool breeze. Softy soft. Retrace your steps. Retrace and think some more. What did you do before? Use your brain and think a lot. You'll remember what you forgot. And that memory won't be lost. 
My steps go back. Our thoughts rewind. Retrace, retrace our steps to find things we lost or want to recall. Retrace your steps, that's it. True and Bartleby, but I found some wonderful new wishes in Wishing Heart Hollow, and I must get them to Z. Happy Bouncy! Bye bye, Lagoon! Thanks, Rainbow King! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> what an eager bunch of new wishes, Z! They'll learn so much about their powers when you train them for true. Indeed, Your Highness. I'll have lots to note in the Wishopedia. Then I'll leave you to it. Rainbows away! Bye, Rainbow King! Welcome to the Wishing Tree. My name is Z, and I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> now, what's this wish? Why, hello there! Aren't you curious? Hmm, that's worth noting. <laughs> Great gravity! You're an eraser wish! No, no. That's not a bad thing. I'll teach you to control your erasing powers. I think I'll call you... Go away! <laughs> Oops! Wish is overboard. Stay right there, Go away. My stuff! Where'd everything go? Oh, that looks like a wish. That's weird. Whoa, I think it is a wish. Ninja pose yet! 
Thank you. <laughs> True, Bartleby, a wish named Goey is missing. Before he could teach Goey how to control his powers, he got startled and ran away. That's never happened before. Oh no, that's terrible. Please bring Goey back to the wishing tree before the entire kingdom gets erased. We'll do everything we can, Z. Uh, true. Goey is heading that way. And our house is that way. Come on, B. Follow that wish. Ah, Goey, wait. Don't erase our house. Don't erase our house. My cozy kitty loft. Oh, no. My blanky blanket was in there. My fishy poof crackers. My favorite cushy pillow. <gasps> oh, I can barely nap on my emergency cushy pillow. I'm so upset. Great idea, B. We'll get Goway to have a nap. Oh, Goway. Would you like to have a snooze? True? A cat with no tail is like a cat with no clothes! Wait, I hardly ever wear clothes. Mm. <laughs> Aw, how thoughtful. Wait, I'm not wearing a rope for a tail. Don't get your tail in a tizzy bee. <gasps> Oops, I mean, don't worry. Once we help Goway get back to the wishing tree, we'll fix everything. Including my tail? Paw promise? Paw promise. Okay, I'm buying that. I'm here to fix your roof. <laughs> Whoa. I'll send you the bill. Uh-oh. Uh Goway is a powerful little wish. If we try to bring him back when he's upset, more stuff will get erased. Now we need some wish help. Oh, Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please. Yeah! Z! Uh, what are the wishes doing? They're guarding the Wishopedia. Aw, that's sweet of them. It's the only thing left that Goway didn't erase. Well, that and the wishes. Oh, I'm so glad you're all still here, Wishes. Goway is erasing lots of things in Rainbow City, Z. I know. We have to figure out how to bring him back, quick. So I can get my tail back, quick. I... All right. Let's sit and have a think about this. So, how do you plan to get Goey to come back? Well, Goey only erases things when he bounces on them. But when he's upset, he bounces on things a lot. Goey is upset because he's afraid of his own powers, and he doesn't know how to use them yet. A flower for a tail? Really? Hey, do you have one in blue? Oh. Thanks, guys. Goway won't be afraid if we make things fun for him. We should get some wishes to help us come up with a game to lead him back to the wishing tree. That's a great idea. Oh, I hope it works. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Wishing tree, please share with me. Magic power for you and me. This is quite the variety of wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Huh? That page shouldn't be blank. 
Or this one. Or this one! <gasps> Thunderbolts and lightning! Everything in the book has been erased! Go away! He must have bounced on the Wishopedia and erased the pages by accident! Oh, don't worry, Z. If anyone can remember the wishes, it's you. Wow! <laughs> you look familiar. <laughs> wow! My tail's gone again! Wait, I can still feel it. How can I still feel it, but not see it? It's a camouflage wish, B. Of course. Hide, Z. <laughs> this wish can hide something by making it the same color as the things around it. So it's harder to see. Ooh, that's fun. Wow. Heidi can definitely help us play games with Go Away. Now, what's this second wish? Oh, this wish looks like a spotted dot. Or a dotted spot. <gasps> dot spot! This is a wish that can leave a trail of dots for you to follow. A trail of dots? Hmm. We could make a trail of dots to lead Go Away back to the wishing tree. That would be a great game. <laughs> And this wish da, 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 da. moves backwards. Okay. Can you give us another clue? Da, 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 da. Nah! I have no idea who you are or what your power is. <sighs> if only the Wishopedia didn't get erased. The Rainbow King is going to be so mad when he finds out. Just talk to him. I'm sure he can help you somehow. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. See you later. Good luck, True. Let's find Go Away, Cumulo. Oh, bye, Tail Flower. stuff. Oh, and if you see my tail anywhere, just shout out. <laughs> Thanks, Cumulo. Oh, oh, you again. I don't do tail feathers. <laughs> my hair, it vanished. Just like that. Poof. Yeah, it's a good look for you. Say, it's really becoming. Wait till I show Mildred. Enjoy your new look. <laughs> oh. He's so bouncy right now. He's going to be super hard to catch. Hmm. We don't want to catch Go Away B. That'll only scare him. But we can make it a game. Catch me if you can. Oh, yeah! Ha! Ninja kitty time! No one's catching this cool cat. Yeah! Every time Go Away comes to catch you, keep moving closer to the wishing tree. <laughs> gotcha. And to make it even more fun, we'll make it extra tricky to catch you. I have just the wish to help us. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Heidi. Wish come true. Hey, Heidi, we're going to play Catch Me If You Can. Can you show B how you'll camouflage him if he's about to get caught? Ninja Catafly! Okay! Hooray! Catch me if you can! Come and get me! Too slow! Too slow! Hi, Go Away! I'm playing Catch Me If You Can with Bartleby. Wanna play? Over here! Great! First one to catch him wins! Here I am! Ta-da! Over here now! You catch him, Go Away! It's working! Go Away loves this game! Oh, I am so caught! <laughs> so not caught, I mean! Cool camouflage, Izzy. Nice moves, B. Keep it up and we'll lead Go Away right back to the wishing tree! <laughs> No one's gonna catch me here. <laughs> you caught me! <laughs> True! Oh no! Tell me you didn't just see a 
wish vanish. I just saw a wish vanish. Come on, we have to get go way back. Goodness greenness me. The entire Wishipedia has been erased. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. Uh, uh, it, it, it's all right, Z. Accidents happen. But you can fix it, right? And unerase everything? I can't fix the Z, but you can. You know every wish there is to know. You just need some help to remember them all. And the best way to do that is to retrace your steps. Retrace your steps? Yes. You think back to what you did step by step by step by step. Retrace and think some more. What did you do before? Use your brain and think a lot. You'll remember what you forgot. And that memory won't be lost. Our steps go back. Our thoughts rewind. Retrace, retrace. Our steps to find things we lost or want to recall. Retrace your steps, that's it, that's all! So, what wishes did you study today? There was flat, sir, the flattening wish, and goey, the eraser wish. Uh-huh, and yesterday? That was brushly, the brushing wish, uh, and boo-hoo, the crying wish. Oh! You're retracing your steps, and soon you'll remember the name of True's third wish. Let's have a think about this. Ah! I asked for Rainbow Ripple. Huh? Ah! We're all out? Uh, we just missed Go Away. Oh, no. Ooh, fuzzy! Okay, this has got to stop. You're just making me sad now. Got to stop. We keep trying to get Go Away to stop erasing things, but what if we gave him something that's okay for him to erase? Something he'd have fun erasing. Great idea, True. But... What's okay for Go Away to erase? Something one of my wishes makes. Zip zap zee why choose you! Wake up, dog spot! <laughs> Wish come true! Bye bye! Hi, dog spot! We're going to play hopscotch with Go Away, and I need you to make a whole bunch of dots. I'll start hopping like this, and wherever you see my feet land, that's where you make a dot, okay? B, you follow Dot Spot, jumping only on the dots. Will do, but will Go Away follow us? Only if we make it look really fun. Musical dots? This is awesome! Yoo! Hop, 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 dot, 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 hop on dots! <laughs> Come play with us again, Go Away. For this game, you just hop from dot to dot. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay to erase these dots. Have fun with it. Hip, hip, hop, dot. Hop, dot, hop, hop, hop. Dot, dot, dot. Hop, 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 dot. <laughs> we're almost at the wishing tree. Which means we're almost about to get my tail back. Somehow. Hi, True. I just had my Grismobile polished to a crystal shine. Sparkle, sparkle! Oh, oh, now it's all spotty! Yay! Now it's all gone! Oh, no! We were so close to the wishing tree. And now Go Away's heading towards the, the never-ending never forest. forest. I hope Go Away doesn't go into Wishing Heart Hollow. Go Away went into Wishing Heart Hollow. This is where the Rainbow King collects all the wee wishes. Go Away, come back, buddy! C. 
Snorful. The sniffing wish. <laughs> Splendid. Glue boo. Um, makes anything stick to its glue trail. <laughs> Does it ever? When Glue Boo arrived, we got another new wish that day. It couldn't understand what I said. I had to speak backwards to it. Uh, and it moved backwards too. Just like True's third wish. That's the one! Why did it move backwards? Because... Because it's a rewind wish! Named Rewi! <laughs> Rosie Rubies! You figured it out without the book! We have to tell True <laughs> right away! This is definitely a two-bubble call. Go away! <laughs> it's us! You don't have to be scared, little friend. <gasps> <gasps> Third wish. I didn't, but Z did. Yeah, a nice savey wish to save us would come in real handy right now. Your wish's name is Riwi. It's a rewind wish that can help you do things over again. Riwi only understands you if you speak backwards to him. And that gives me an idea for how to fix everything. <laughs> if I put Riwi and Goway together, then Riwi can help Goway go backwards. And on erase everything that go away erased. Two wishes together. How very clever. True. That's never been done. It's brilliant. No, outrageous. No, incredible. Thanks. I'll let you know how it goes. Good luck. Okay, B. Let's help go away, retrace his steps, and unerase everything. Including my tail, my tail, my tail? <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Riwi, it's time to re-we. <laughs> I mean, rewind. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Ah! Oh, right. <laughs> Z said we have to talk backwards to it. Zoo, zap, zip, you choose I. Riwi, awake. <laughs> True come wish. <laughs> Hi, Riwi. Can you help? Er, go away. Help. You can? Backwards. Go. Everything on erase. Left. <laughs> you put a foot behind the other. Step with one and then another. It's a different kind of race. Going backwards to that place. To find the things you huh? lost. Uh -huh. Retrace and think some more. What did you do before? Use your brain and think a lot. You'll remember what you forgot. And that memory won't be lost. Our steps go back. Our thoughts rewind. Retrace, retrace. Our steps to find things we lost or want to recall. La la la, la la la. La la la. Retrace your steps, that's it. That's all. <gasps> my tail! You're back! I'll never let you out of my sight again. See, I'm still seeing you. True and Bartleby, thank you for bringing Go Away back to the wishing tree. And for fixing the Wishopedia. Along with everything else. Love you. <laughs> Looks like everything's back to normal again. Thanks, little helpers. <laughs> I'm all good now. Fruity sitting. Bartleby. When we're done at the Rainbow Castle, we'll go straight to Boing Boing Lagoon. Paw promise. Paw promise. Oh, I can't wait. You and I had the bounciest place in the kingdom. Bouncy fun, here we come. <laughs> <gasps> uh, greetings, True and Bartleby. Hi, Your Hello. Majesty. Forgive my haste, but I'm in a rush to get to the never-ending chit-chat council. 
The never-ending chit-chat council? You mean the chit-chat never ends? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's only for the day. It's just called that because it's held in the never-ending forest. Oh, okay. <laughs> How could I think? <laughs> I almost forgot why I asked you here. Would you two mind castle-sitting for me today? No, what? Really? You want us to castle-sit for you? Of course! I trust you, True. You'll have no trouble at all. Especially taking care of my rare and exquisite, flowerous, magnificus. <laughs> Admire its beauty, but best not to touch it. No problem. Bye for now. Off we go! Bye, Your Majesty. Have fun! <sighs> Bye, Boing Boing Lagoon. Aw, cheer up, Bee. I'm sure we'll have just as much fun here. How? Castle floors aren't bouncy. No, but they are slippery. And you know what you can do on slippery floors in your socks, right? Slide-a-thon! I'll borrow the Rainbow Guard socks! <laughs> <coughs> yeah, no I won't! Oh. I'll just use my fur! <laughs> Slide-a-thon! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Griselda, what are you doing here? The Rainbow King told me you were castle sitting, True. I would help, but I'm going to the never ending chit chat or whatever, too. It's all part of being a princess. So you wouldn't mind if I left my precious Frookykins here with you while I'm gone? Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave Fruki here with us? But we were busy sliding. <laughs> Come on. It's okay. Fruki's sweet. I'm sure we won't have any trouble. Yeah. No trouble at all. Whoa! Great. Here's Fruki's favorite ball. Mwah! Smooches! Ta ta! Come on, Bee. We can all play together. <laughs> Fruki, <laughs> you're really good at this. Uh oh! Oh no! No, Fruki! Hmm, my super slide should win True back. Hey, True! <laughs> After all that playing. I'm fine, but Fruk's all out of drool. <laughs> I'll get a bowl of water. Be right back. Fine. Fetch. Fruki, I got your water. Where's Fruki, B? I don't know. Fetching. So, how about a quick slide before he comes back? Just you and me. You're on. Whoa. <laughs> Fruki? Hmm. I wonder what Fruk's doing in the greenhouse. We better check. Oh, so close. <gasps> no, Fruki, don't. <gasps> Whoa! Double, Double fruities? Triple fruities? One, two, three, four fruities! <gasps> the flower's magnificent! Now we know why the king said not to touch it! Come on, Bob, sit! <laughs> Stay! <laughs> Lie down! <laughs> Do a headstand, anything! <laughs> Uh, ah, oh. Not fun. Come on, B. Oh. oh no! I got it. <gasps> oh no! Whoa. No, 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 no! Oh. Thanks. 
So many Frookies! This castle is so big! How can I catch all the Frookies if I can't even find them? I have to get some wish help, but I can't leave the five Frookies alone. I'll keep an eye on them while you're gone, True. <laughs> Today, Cumulo, up to the wishing tree, please. <laughs> uh. Hi, Z. True, there, hello. Huh? Talking, am I? Ubu with. Ubu? You have to get a punch out for me. Ubu is a backwards wish. You have to talk backwards to it. Oh, um, Z. Hi. Help wish some need I. <laughs> <laughs> back up you go. Or is it go you up back? Come and sit down, True. <gasps> How can I help? Well, I meant to be castle sitting, but Griselda dropped off Fruki. And then the King's Flowerus Magnificus turned one Fruki into five. Oh, boy. How can the wishing tree help? I need some wishes to help me round up all the Frookies. Then turn them back into one again before they wreck the Rainbow Castle. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Interesting wishes, True. I can tell you more about them. Let's check the Wishopedia. Your first wish? Ah, yes, Sizer. It can make you minuscule or gargantuan. Gargantua what? Minuscule means very small, and gargantuan means very big. With this wish, you must snap your fingers to get it to stop. Gotcha. If this wish can make me really big, it'll be easier to catch all the Frookies at once. Your next wish is... Joiner. It can make several objects into one. Just make sure they're all close together, or it won't work. That's good to know. The last wish you have is... Floto. Ooh, how exciting! It can make very big bubbles that you float around in. A big floaty bubble maker? Hmm. I can't think of how that will help me with the Frookies. But you will think of a way, True. You always do. Thanks, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Wishes. <laughs> I brought some wishes. Where are the Frookies? I left them in the kitchen with some fishy poof crackers, then came out here for a snack. Pretty smart, huh? Frookie <gasps> games, I'm back! Griselda! If she sees five Frookies, she's going to freak out. Okay, I'll keep her busy while you fix the Frookies. Uh-oh. Oh. There's one. Huh? What? Whoa! Almost! 
turkeykins? No, the things I do to help True. I am some kind of something. Okay, here it goes. Woof! Fruki! Nailed it! <laughs> Hurry, True. <laughs> I need all the Frukies together. How can I get them in here? Aha! Fishy Poof Crackers! They love these! Come and get it! Now's my chance! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, joiner! Wish come true! <laughs> okay, let's join all the Frukies back into one. Okay, joiner, spin around the pot as fast as you can! Cool! Let's see how it worked! Fruki? <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Joiner! Great job! Oh, I'm going to cover my fruky rooky with little kisses! <gasps> Bartleby! Hey, hi, uh, nice beard, Griselda. <gasps> I kissed a cat! <laughs> Fruki, look, it's Griselda! My Frookykins! True, why was Bartleby pretending to be my precious Frooky Pookie? Well, Bartleby's had a bad day, and so is Frooky. But Frook's been such a good little doggy. <sighs> but I'm a good kitty. <laughs> I guess she'd rather have a good dog. <laughs> Frooky boo! <laughs> okay, Bartleby, let's do some more sliding. Bartleby? I could leave and never come back, and True would never even notice. Huh. But I bet she'd notice if there were five of me! <laughs> so, how does that magic pollen work again? Abracadabra! Ugh. Presto changeo! <sighs> uh, it was worth a try. I'm so happy to have you back, my little... <gasps> Fruki! Oh, no, not the greenhouse again. What do you mean, again? <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh. <sighs> How much crazy stuff can one plant do? Problems. Big hero hug! Bring it in! Come on! True? <sighs> How do I catch a giant dog that's too big to catch? <gasps> I make it smaller! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, son! Come true! Yeah. Ready to make Fruki smaller? Mm -hmm. On your mark? Get set! Go! Oh. Okay, that's 
small enough, Sizer! Uh-oh. Z said I have to snap my fingers to get him to stop. Oh, no! I can't do it! Bartleby, snap your fingers! I don't have any. I've got this. I'm very good at getting attention. Side. Looks like the only way is to follow Fruki through the keyhole. I know I'm asking you to do some extra work, but can you shrink us down? Uh -huh. Thanks, Sizer. Uh -huh. Come on, Bee. Bee? Whoa! Bartleby! Where are you going? Away. What do you mean? We were supposed to go to Boing Boing Lagoon and sock slide, but you've been spending so much time with your new best friend, Fruki. But you're my best friend. I am? Of course. Fruki's my friend, too. But just because I spend time with other friends doesn't mean I love you any less. It doesn't? No. You're my best friend in the whole world and always will be. Pa promise? Pa promise. Best day ever. That's beautiful, but we have a puppy to save over here. Come on, Bartleby. Slide of them! Okay, Sizer. Shrink us down, please. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks, Griselda. Yes, yes, just hurry up. Wow. It feels weird being small. <gasps> How big would a fishy poof cracker be right now? You can snack on some just as soon as we rescue. Fruki! We're coming, Fruki! Whee! Come on, Bartleby! This'll be fine. Cats always land on their feet. <laughs> oh! Are you okay? I made it, I think. I mean, I mean, that's the important thing. <laughs> oh, Bartleby. <gasps> Fruki. <laughs> Somebody's glad to see us. It's okay, Fruk. No need to be scared. We'll get you out of here. Now, if we can just get big again, we can open the door and leave. What made Fruki big before? It was one of those petals on the king's plant. I'll go get one. I mean, someone else will go get one. It's okay, Bee. Let's just think this through. We need to touch one of the petals. And to get up there, we'll use my last wish. Float out. Won't we just float away? Yes, but I have an idea. If we run really fast, it'll roll. Then we can steer it over to the plant and touch the petal. That's it. Float out. Let's do this. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Floto! Wish come true! Let's get ready for liftoff! Whoa! Whoa! This bubble floats fast! Run towards the flower, we have to get to its petals! Keep running, keep running! We're almost there, guys! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yay! We did it! Thanks, Floto. Time to go back in the pack. <laughs> Fruki buttons? Fruki snuggles? Fruki whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm happy to see you too, Fruki Kins! Aww. True! How was your day of castle sitting? Not too difficult, I hope. Well, we have a lot of fun sock sliding, but we had a few accidents today, Your Highness. Oh, I'll say. Uh, that's all right. Accidents happen to the best of us. Yes, everything seems to be in tip-top shape despite the accidents. Oof, I'm glad to hear it. 
Oh, I should check on my flowers, Magnificus. It, it didn't bloom yet, did it? Your flower is the one thing we couldn't fix. We're very sorry. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my! Huh? Flabbergasting fuchsia. <laughs> what luck! Luck? Accident or not, its petals fell off early. That means it's going to bloom sooner than I thought. Look! It's happening now! Isn't it spectacular? <sighs> Nothing like the flower is magnificent in bloom. <laughs> Four rainbow kings? Don't, Don't worry, easily remedied. Gesundheit! See? Happens all the time. All we had to do was say Gesundheit? Now there was some talk of sock sliding, I believe. I'm in. Come on, Fruki. Let's go! Woo! Wait for me! <laughs> right behind you! <laughs> Queens of the day and night. Ooh, I'm so excited to meet the day queen and the night queen! <laughs> Making the sun rise each day and the moon rise each night is such an amazing, incredible, wonderful, amazing... Did I already say amazing? Important job! It's amazing, all right. Sun comes up and I'm wide awake. Moon comes up and I'm... The castle looks golden gorgeous. Oh, thank you for your help, True and Bartleby. You're welcome, welcome Rainbow, Rainbow King. King. And your timing couldn't be better. Here comes the Day Queen now. True? You okay? True? True? Warmest greetings, Rainbow King. And you must be True and Bartleby. It's wonderful to finally meet you. You know me? She knows me! It's delightful to see you again, Your Majesty. And your sister, the Night Queen, should be here any minute. Rainbow King, why do the queens only visit at sunrise and sunset? The Day Queen's power comes from her brightness, Bartleby. It fades at night, so if she's away from sunshine too long, she won't have the energy to lift the sun each day. Just as the Night Queen must stay in darkness to lift the moon. So my sister and I can only be together at dawn and dusk. Oh, it's so sad. I get to see my best friend all the time. Aww. Oh, and speaking of, here comes... The Night Queen! Night Queen! How glorious that you're here! Day Queen! Seeing you is always the best part of my <laughs> evening. Thank you for inviting me, Rainbow King. You're welcome. Ah, you must be true. And Bartleby, I've heard so much about you. You've heard of me too? I... Wow. Oh, and here we go again. Night Queen, it's midnight marvelous to have you visit. And what a beautiful moonrise you've made. Though the Day Queen's sunset is marvelous as well. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Your Majesty. Nothing, Nothing beats, beats a perfect, perfect sunset. Moonrise. Oh, dear sister, surely you must agree the moonrise is more spectacular. I'm afraid I must disagree with you, sister. A sunset is the most beautiful. What do you think, True? Yes. Which one do you think is best? I... um... well... they're... both great? <laughs> if only that were so. But clearly, my time is the best. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. A soft cool breeze and the moon aglow. Daytime simply can't compare. Compared to night, it's just so so. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing and calm, it's 
when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is the best Night time. time is the best the time. The blue sky. The night star. The sun. The moon. Oh my. This is perfect. <laughs> Crazy sky is perfect? Don't you see? We can finally be together all the time. I just have to stay on my side. Well, I stay on my side. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Everyone, please excuse us. I must finally convince my sister that daytime is the best time. I'm afraid that's impossible because nighttime is the best time. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is most unusual. Most unusual indeed. Maybe it'll be fine. Daytime and nighttime? At the same time? More like crazy time. A little, but it's okay, I think. Please, please go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe that worked. So tired. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Nothing could stop us now! See, you get the energy from the sun or nice, calming moonlight whenever you... Uh-oh. Oh. Looks like one of the buses fell asleep on the night side and the ones on the day side can't pass. What? <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Excuse me, bus. It's time to wake up. Tickle, tickle. Come on. Tickle, 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 <laughs> Good one, B. Excuse me, bus, but could you please pull over so the other buses can get by? Oh, I get it. Oh! Oh, oh true. I, I need your help in the Happy Farming Valley. Sure thing, Farmer Mosser. I'm on my way. Oh, Cumulus! <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Whoa! Hi, Farmer Mosser. What's wrong? I know it's not too much sunshine. <laughs> Plants love sunshine. They sure do. All this sun was wonderful at first. My berry crop grew bigger and juicier than ever. Oh, giant berry. Where have you been all my life? But now, there's too much sun. My berries dry out just like that. <laughs> all that plump, delicious juiciness, gone. Okay, maybe this half day, half night thing isn't working out. We can't leave the sky like this. Let's go explain the problem to the queens. They'll understand. Right? I still can't believe they're here! Be strong, True. Good day, True, and good night. I was just telling Day how lovely the night stars are. But they can't compare with the shimmering sun. Isn't that right? <coughs> True. Right. Thanks, B. Your Majesties, both day and night are amazing and everything. But could you please put the sky back the way it was? Please? Oh, True. But that would mean I couldn't be with my sister. Huh? The sun and the moon will stay where they are until we decide to change them. Which we won't. Ever. Uh, well, well, what now, True? I think we're gonna need some help. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! True and Bartleby. Look at the wishes. Half of them just fell asleep and the other half are full of energy. I don't know what's wrong. That's why we're here, Z. 
The Day Queen and the Night Queen stuck the sun and moon together. Now it's daytime and nighttime all the time. Most unusual. And I need some wish help to get the sky back to normal. Whoa, that is a problem. Come, let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> How can the wishing tree help? Well, I need a wish that can make the night side brighter and the day side darker. But even better would be a wish that can unstick the sun and moon completely. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Those are some fantastic wishes, True. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Flecto. Now this is a wish you can really reflect on. <laughs> I don't get it. Moving on. Flecto is a mural wish that can show your reflection. It can also bounce light in any direction. Wow! Wow! Hello, handsome. <laughs> that means Flecto could bounce sunshine from the day side of the kingdom onto the night side to make it more like daytime there. That will really brighten things up. Your second wish is Zeplo. It's a blimp wish. Zeplo can take in a lot of air and fly way up in the sky. Yeah, da, 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 da. Big and floaty wish. Hmm. Maybe I could use Zeplo to pull the sun and moon apart. Da, 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 da. Your third wish is Shumpi. It's a protection wish. It opens like an umbrella, but can bathe you in sunlight while it's stormy and dark around you. Or cover you in deep shade if you want out of the sun. Hmm. I'm not sure how that wish can help me unstick the sun and moon. Uh -huh. But I'll think of something. You always do, True. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> okay, bye, Z. Good luck, True and Bartleby. Bye. Okay, Bartleby, let's shed some light on Rainbow City. Flecto, it's time to reflect. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wiggle, Flecto. Wish come true. Hi, Flecto. Are you ready to bounce some sunbeams? Great. Let's go. <laughs> It's working, but our beam isn't big enough. Flecto, can you get bigger so I can bounce more light down to the night side? Uh -huh. <laughs> Morning, baby. <laughs> oh, it was good while it lasted. All right, uh -huh. back to work. Oh, that's it. We covered all of Rainbow City. Great work, Flecto. <laughs> You true, but neither will I. Oh, oh no! Phew! Thanks, Flecto. Z. True. I have bad news. Huh? 
I've made a model of the sun and the moon, and by my calculations, if they're not separated soon, they'll smush together into one big moon with no sunlight or moonlight at all. <gasps> we have to fix this. It's time to see if Zeppelo can separate the sun and the moon. No, oh, I hope it works true. Good luck. This time we're gonna do it. <sighs> Hey, we're falling. Wait, wait, probably just a dream. <sighs> it's not a dream, Bartleby! Cumulo fell asleep. Wake up, Cumulo! We have to steer Cumulo to the day side so he wakes up. Lean with me, Bee. Lean! No! <laughs> Phew! Good work, Cumulo. <laughs> Come on! Time for some wish power! Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Zeplo! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Zeplo! The sun and moon are stuck together. Can you help me fix it? Great. I'm going to guide you between them. Then you get really big and push them apart, okay? Okay, Zeplo. Ready? Now push. Is it working? I only see wish tummy. <laughs> it's a nice tummy. Let's give Zeplo a helping push. Uh, uh. Oh no! Thanks for trying, but the sun and moon are just too big to be pushed apart. You should get some rest. True. How goes the wish work? Have you separated the sun and the moon? Not yet. Whatever you're trying next, True, we have to hurry or... Sun Moon! There's only one thing we can do now. We have to get the queens to help us. Didn't we already try that? We did. But we have to try harder. Thanks, Z! <laughs> Thank you both for meeting me. I know you love being together, and I love having you both together. But we have to fix the sky, your highnesses. What's the problem? Yes, we're having a wonderful time. But it's affecting the rest of the kingdom. <sighs> if you only could see both sides, you'd know. But I can't possibly travel to the night side. I'll lose my glow. And I certainly can't travel to the day side. I'll lose my darkness. Lose your glow. Lose your darkness. <gasps> I have a wish that can stop both those things from happening. I'll use Shumpi the protection wish to guard you from each other's time of day. Then I can take both of you anywhere in the kingdom to see what's going on. Well, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> You've both said your time of day is the best. But how will you know for sure unless you see both sides for yourselves? Huh. Well, when you put it that way, how could we say no? Great. Come on out, Shumpy. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Shumpy. <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Shumpy. We need to get over to the day side of the kingdom. Can you protect the Night Queen for me? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, my! Fantastic! Cumulo! Huh? Huh? Hi, Cumulo! First stop is Happy Farming Valley. <laughs> My word, is it always so dry here? No. Happy Farming Valley is usually green and lush, but oh my glorious sunlight is drying it out. You always tell me how people are so happy during the day. No! But I don't 
don't see that, sister. Neither do I. It's terrible. Look, B. They're seeing the problem for themselves now. So right. You're doing great, Shoopy. Now can you protect the Day Queen and go to the night side? <laughs> How marvelous! Sunshine at night! Would you look at that? What's everyone doing on the ground? Are they sick? Oh no, they're just sleeping. But they should be doing that at home. In their beds. Sister, you always tell me how quiet and magical and enchanting the nighttime is. But, uh, I don't see any of that here. Neither do I. It's not right. It's working, True. Oh, don't fall asleep on me. Huh? Uh, right. Cumulo, back to the day side, please. Thanks, Cumulo. And thank you, Shimpy. <laughs> we see the problem now, True. Too much night is too much for anybody. And too much day isn't good either. It's time to make things right. Ready? Ready. The day is bright. The night is calm. Sun, moon, to where you belong! Another beautiful sunset. Thank you, queens. Daytime is a great time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. We run and skip and jump and play. It's a fun adventure time of day. <laughs> Nighttime is a great time. A soft, cool breeze, the moon in the glow. Get comfy, get back, it's quiet time. We wind things down and clear our minds. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing and calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is a great time. time. is a great time. The blue sky. The night stars. The sun. The moon. They're both the best time. I like us both being the best. Me too. True, you did it. What is that? It's a face bubble. You've never used one before? No. I think we found another way for you to see each other more. Here we go. Your Majesties, no matter where you are, you can talk to each other by face bubble. Oh, now I'll be able to see you in the nighttime. Oh, and I'll be able to see you in the daytime. Hugs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest day and night ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you soon. Bye. For now.